Hello students, today we start with the first story, The Lost Child by Mulkraj Anand. This is a story of a forlorn child, forlorn, F-O-R-L-O-R-N, sad and alone. This child accompanies his parents to the fair. Along the way, he comes across many tempting things like toys, fruits, dragonflies, etc. The boy wants to possess all of them. But being scared of his dad specially, who was ready to scowl at him, the child suppresses his desires, but he cannot get out of the dilemma. He was engrossed in his thought process and during that time, the child gets separated from his parents. The moment he realizes that he is separated, he could not control his grief. This story revolves around a peculiar small child who is attracted towards toys, sweets, flowers, different rites. But he curbs his this desire because he knows my parents, either they won't allow me or they would blast at me. So the child stays calm. But the moment he is separated, and all try to console him by offering him different choices, sweets, a right, or something else. The child doesn't want anything else, but he wants only his mom and dad. Does the child realize this? My parents are only the source of my eternal joy. Students, same is our life. When our parents are with us, material things, they attract us more. Many a times we are annoyed with our parents because they don't allow us to buy certain things and this offends us. We complain about them sometimes. We start blaming them. But when these parents are not with us, we realize only parents are important. Because if I have my parents, I'm going to get everything in the world. Only they are there to shower unlimited love, unconditional love. So, the life of every child revolves around parents. Now we move to the characters. The first character is of the lost child. He is very innocent. That is why when his mother tries to distract him from toys, the child easily gets distracted and starts intently looking at the nature, the mustard field. This child is very obedient. Though he is engrossed and he wants to possess all those small toys, he stops following those toys or he stops following his desires. The moment his parents ask him, Come child, follow us. This child, he isn't obstinate. He doesn't throw tantrums. I want it at this moment. Instead, the child is very cute and amicable. He is very happy. Whether he sees nature or he sees man-made things like toy sweets, he is equally content. This child is fascinated by 
toys, dragonflies, insects, worms, shower of flowers, sweets and balloons. The moment he sees the garland of Gulmohar, he wants to have he is equally attracted towards a roundabout. Students, when you were small and you went to your grandparents, that time maybe many of you pestered your parents or implored them, forced them to allow you the different rights. So every small child loves to have different rights. So this child is no exception. The moment he saw a snake charmer, he was attracted. Generally we people, seeing a snake that rears its hood, we flinch back. We are scared. But this boy being from a village, he was used to see the snakes. The child had many desires but he continued curbing each and every desire because he knew what would be the reaction of my parents. The child longed to have burfi but he knew his parents would say you are so greedy all the time you want to eat something or the other. So child moved away from the sweet meat shop. Next, he wanted to buy a garland of gulmohar flowers. Again, he knew what would be the reaction of my parents. These flowers are so cheap and still you want to buy them? No, we are not going to buy it. The child wanted to buy colorful balloons. But he knew his dad would say, you are too big to buy balloons. Balloons are for very small kids. Why don't many a times parents realize there are some small joys which can make a great impact on the life. Every time restricting the child, sermonizing the child is not the solution. Sometimes let them enjoy unadulterated joy. Why there every joy has to face either your lecture or your wrath. And later when these small children would grow up, do you think they would be the sensitive people? Definitely not. So if you want children to be happy, sensitive and responsible, fulfill their small joys. The child, he wanted to enjoy the music of the snake charmer. But once again he knew my dad would say, the music is so coarse. How can you enjoy it? How can your choice be so ordinary? How can you allow all the time only your wishes to succeed? Even small children, they have every right to enjoy their life to the fullest. Azim Premji, the founder of Vipro, has rightly said, Let the children enjoy the rainfall, the beauty of nature, so that when they grow, they will understand every joy doesn't lie in the material things. Certain joys they do not need any reason. They do not need time. But that is just the desire. So, 
value the desires of small kids so that they will value your desires. If today they learn to suppress their every desire, they will become pessimistic, dull, and later in the life, they will start criticizing each and every person. They would not appreciate, and that time, some of you would expect, why aren't you positive? Why don't you appreciate? So the thing that is not inculcated, how do you expect that the child would one fine day give you that output? Is output possible without input? So parents, teachers and all elders realize small kids are very sensitive. Consider their small joys. The child finally he decides. Now even if my parents say no, I am going to be adamant. I would tell them, Mama and Papa, I want a ride off roundabout. So who has made a small child defiant? It is the parents. So if you don't want small children to defy, consider them, nurture them, provide them small joys. And the child after this, he turns to tell his parents, I want this ride of roundabout. But as he turns, he doesn't find his parents alive. The boy looks around. He hails his parents. Mama, Papa, where are you? Mama, Papa, please come to me. But there is no response. There is no reaction. And the child realizes, I am lost. After being lost, the child, he just keeps looking around. But that moment, even the small child didn't know what to do. The child's throat was parched. His face was flushed. He became very tense because of the tension looming. What would be my life without my parents? The child began to run helter-skelter. But he didn't find his parents. Tears rolled down. He began to help them. Mama, Papa. But it wasn't taught any other. The child was panic stricken. He began to run. He began to run so desperately that his turban was untied. His clothes became muddy. After crying for a long time, he stopped crying. Now his wailing turned into sobbing. And that moment, a savior Samaritan comes. As this Samaritan comes, he sees the condition of the child. He lifts the child. He asks him the reason. He wants to know how did the child get lost? He tries to soothe the child. But the child, he could not be consoled. 
He just shows child different rides, toys, everything. It is just because of such Samaritans, children are safe. He doesn't try to scream at the child. If your parents were so important for you, why did you leave them? Why do you keep watching these unimportant things? No. He didn't do anything. And that is why the small child could remain a small child. He could refuse everything. He could express his deepest thoughts. He could wait. He could persistently demand, I want my parents. So children, though the writer has not given us the ending, I think because of this Samaritan, the child would be definitely united with his parents. So we all have to realize we have every right to enjoy our small joys. So children, during this period of lockdown, instead of just playing mobile games full day, just peep out of your window. Look at the chirping birds, the sunrise, the sunset, the trees and everything. Even see the beauty of your mama when she works when she handles your tantrums mood swings try to become sensitive children parents are the greatest source of joy instead of defying them realize their importance Share your joys, obey their commands and remember one thing, whatever they do, they do it for your well-being. Students, at the end of the video, if you go to the description, you would get all the vocabulary words from this tool and if you go through it it will help you write better it will enrich your vocabulary language is your power and during this time you are getting an opportunity to master the language Use this opportunity to your fullest and see. When you join your school, all would appreciate your fluency. Without efforts, nothing is possible. For the same reason, children, continue working hard. Start finding joy in books, in nature, and in your own company. Thank you.